When I was in the Navy, I had a great job. I was an air traffic controller. I was stationed at the Naval Air Station in Alameda, California. Our control tower must have dated back to the 40s. It was only about three stories high. You would walk up to the second story, and then to get to the control tower, you'd climb this spiral staircase that would come up right in the center of the control tower. In the control tower, you have three main positions. You have a flight data person that's handling all the flight plans. You have a ground controller who's talking to the airplanes and all the ground traffic at the air base. And you have a flight controller who's handling all the traffic within a five mile radius. We're all hooked up with headsets. We have a mouthpiece, an earpiece, and a long cord that plugs into our console that goes out to all the frequencies. And there's a little button that you click when you want to talk. We have a conversation something like this. I'm the flight controller. I'm handling all the air traffic that, that, that's going to take off and land. There's a jet that wants to take off. He calls me up. Alameda Tower, Marine 123, ready for takeoff. I have to answer. Marine 123, Alameda Tower, hold short, traffic on file. Roger, Alameda 123, understand, clear for takeoff. <laughs> Negative 123, I say again, hold short of the runway. It seems like we were always having to tell the Marines how to do something more than once. There's also a, a setup in the control tower where you have a section leader, you have an assistant section leader. I was the assistant section leader. My section leader was a, a great guy. His name was, was Carl. We used to call him Carpenter Carl because he had taken it on himself to redo the whole control tower. It wasn't his job. But he just liked doing it. He was painting. He was scraping paint. He was laying down carpet. He was doing all sorts of things. I was his assistant section leader. And he would just say, funny thing about Carl, he had this really kind of nasal voice. He talked like this. He talked like this all the time. And he would say, Oscar, handle it, handle it. Which basically meant I had to, I had to run to the whole control tower. One night. It wasn't uh, uncommon in the control tower. Carl said, ask him I'm going home. But before I go home, I want you to, if you have some time, chip some paint off the stairway, because I want to paint it next couple days. OK, Carl, go. I'll, I'll see if I can get to it. I might have so much traffic tonight. It's be so busy, I might not even be able to get to it. Well, there's not a lot of traffic on Eve Watch. Naval Air Station at that time. So I knew I was going to have to do this sooner or later. But there was traffic every now and then. We used to have this helicopter that used to take off from Berkeley, fly across our air base, and go to San Francisco. And it was funny because we would remember and make fun of some of the voices of some of the pilots. And this helicopter called me up that evening, and I could hear the do 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 from the, from the rotors in the, uh, com coming through the headset. And, and the pilot must have been uh, Irish or Welsh or Scottish, because he comes on and says, Alameda Tower, SFO 234, Berkeley to San Francisco. <laughs> and so I answer him, SFO 234, you're clear direct, report crossing the runway. So basically I just said, you're good to go. Let me know when you're out of the area. Roger, Alameda, will do. OK, so he's out there. He's the only one flying around. And I'm walking around the control tower. I got this, my, my cord plugged into the console. And I come up to the staircase here, right? And I remember what Carl told me. He says, I got to start chipping some of this paint. And I really didn't feel like it. And I don't know why I did it. But I just started to kind of cuss. Started to, I, I bent down like this, and I go, oh, like this guy wants me to do this, he can blah, blah, blah. And I said out all these cuss words. But I was just venting. I wasn't angry at Carl. I wasn't angry. I was just venting. I was just, I don't know why I did it. I did it. 
Alamir Tar, SFO 222, SFO 22, Alamir, go ahead. I thought he was just going to tell me that he's cleared the area. Alamir Tar, be advised you have a hot mic. Okay, a hot mic, a hot mic. What had happened? What had happened? Okay, when I bent down like this, I mean, that's all. click, Anybody click. I had clicked my way without knowing everything. And all these cuss words that I said went out on five frequencies all over the Bay Area. Okay, okay, I can, I can fix this, I can fix this. There's a thing in the control tower that will make or break a controller when there's an incident. It's called a tape recorder. Okay, nothing, nothing uh, uh, fancy, it's a tape recorder. If there's an incident in the control tower, they will transcribe these tapes word for word, grunt for grunt. If you pass air over the mic, they're going to transcribe it, okay? All right. Well, I made sure that evening that nobody took over this position. I took it. I, uh, I stayed on the position all night. If something happens, it's my fault. Well, nothing happened that night. Thank goodness, okay? But I learned a very, very important lesson. And it serves me to this day. Always be careful what you say because you never know who might be listening to you. <laughs> <laughs>